starting in 5 seconds. The NGT found merit in the contention of the appellants that the first respondent had the power to grant ex post facto clearance. However, it would have only prospective operation. The clearance could, however, be spotted if the activity which was permitted was one which was contemplated under the 2011 notification. The tribunal went on to note that the storage facilities were not located in the Chennai port. In fact, it was on the basis that under paragraph 8 of the 2011 notification, storage of edible oil inter alia was permissible in the limits of a notified port. The attempt of the appellants to support the clearance with reference to the fact that under permitted activities in CRZ-1 shortage of non-hazardous cargo including edible oil was permitted within the limits of a port and a distinction therefore existed between the words within and in did not find favor with the NGT. It was the contention of the appellants that being two different words and a meaningful interpretation being warranted in the case of CRZ1, the activity to be permitted had to be strictly within the limits of the port, both taking into account the difference in the words used as also the fact that CRZ second contemplated a less harsh regime. The case of the appellants was that a purposeful interpretation would warrant the view that the storing of the edible oil in the CRZ second area could be permitted even outside the limits of the port. It is this argument that failed. The NGD has found the impugned order of the first respondent illegal. The construction of the storage facility and the pipeline were directed to be removed. The appellant in the first appeal was directed to pay environmental compensation in a sum of rupees 25 lakhs. We may only elucidate that the appellant in the connected appeal had initially succeeded before the tribunal. However, it was after allowing a review petition which decision was not challenged and on hearing the appeal again that the present impugned order came to be passed, noting that the appellant in the connected case was earlier visited with environmental compensation, no compensation was imposed on it. We heard learned senior counsel for the appellant in the first appeal and also the learned senior counsel. We further heard the learned senior counsel on behalf of respondent number 5 and learned counsel on behalf of respondents 2 and 3. We also further heard the learned counsel on behalf of Union of India. The learned senior counsel would submit that the appellant was engaged in the manufacture of edible oil. In order to avoid the traffic snarls and the congestion it caused in the Chennai port, it was the 
Chennai port itself, which suggested that the appellant may draw the pipeline from the port area so that the edible oil which was downloaded on import could be taken to a storage facility and from there carried to the factory of appellant he would submit that the provisions of 2011 notification would reveal that paragraph 3 declares activities which are prohibited the storage tank has been put up in CRZ second area there are construction activities permitted in CRZ one area which is the most fragile area he would take us through the notification and point out that on a combined reading of paragraphs the following will be the upshot in regard to CRZ second it is less sensitive than CRZ one in CRZ one the storage of edible oil inter alia is permitted within the notified ports in CRZ second on the other hand storage of non hazardous cargo such as edible oil fertilizers and food grains is permitted in notified ports since the word within which is used in CRZ1 is not employed in regard to the similar activity in CRZ second and instead the word in is used the principal contention is that they must receive a different meaning he would further contend that this court may adopt purposive interpretation and in this regard he drew our attention to the judgment of this court the words and notified boards occurring in paragraph 8 bracket second of the 2011 notification must be construed to mean in or around the notified ports he would submit that storage tanks have been constructed not within the chennai port but on a purposive interpretation the storage tank must be treated as in the chennai port though it is not in its notified limits the storage container was located in the customs notified area of the Chennai port. He would contend that CRZ second even permits facility for the storage of petroleum products and liquefied natural gas. If that is so, he poses the question that having regard to the fact that CRZ second generally provides for a less harsh regulatory regime and CRZ1 stop